We are here at the 100th Pennsylvania Farm Show with some Barnesvillians. I, I have that right? Uh, all right, these ladies are from Barnesville. And I'll start over here at my right. Your name? Mary Ann Yaneski. Mary Ann, great. From Barnesville. All right, it's great to see you. Thanks for taking time out to talk with us. And you would be? Joan Demko from Barnesville. Joan, it's nice to see you here. Are you enjoying the farm show? Oh, I love it. It's awesome. Well, listen, it's, it's great to see you here. And uh, you are, uh, you, you actually have an interesting story to tell regarding what you do and how you got involved in it. Oh, yes. We um, have a small farm and we raise colored Angora goats. And Stop right there. Colored, what, explain to me what are colored Angora goats. They're, uh, it a, it's a fiber goat that produces mohair and we try to breed for color but a lot of times they're like a genetic, it's like a recessive gene in the white angoras that you get colored from being bred with other ones. So Very we also have white mixed in, but we try to keep colored goats. And let me ask you, how did you get started? Did, did, it, uh, did it kind of start off as a hobby and grow it into a business? It off as a hobby. I wanted to um, raise my own wool for sweaters and they're small, a little bit bigger than a German Shepherd, so they were easy to take care of. So now we're up to like 24 of them. And I learned to spin and hopefully learning to weave shortly. Are they, are they, tough, to, are they tough to manage? Is there a lot of maintenance involved? No, in there's not a lot of maintenance. They're pretty easy to take care of. Um, actually, my husband does most of it anymore, but you know. So explain, explain the process to me. I mean, exactly what, you, what do you do? You call it shearing? Is yeah. that what you do? We shear them twice a year. Their hair grows an average of an inch a month. So every time we shear, we'll get about a six inch staple off of them. And then it's washed and picked and carded and then spun. Sometimes I spin it. Sometimes I send it out to a mill to have it spun. And then it's ready to either be woven or knitted into some garment. What, I mean, what, uh, it was just something that you started as a hobby and you just thought it was kind of cool or how did you get involved? I mean, I, it's hard to what sparked your interest? Trying to find a natural fiber like 20 years ago to make a sweater kind of started. It was really hard at that time because all you found were acrylics and there's a whole other like world out there that just deals in natural fibers. I mean, there are shows that draw 25 to 30,000 people just to buy wool. You know, so it's out there. It's, it's a little harder to find. Now, what brought you to the Pennsylvania Farm Show? How many years have you been coming here, and what brought you here? Oh, my gosh. I'm probably shown here six or seven years now. Um, my One of my sisters showed at Bloomsburg, so we started showing there, and it was just a natural progression to come down here. You know, so. And, and how have you done in terms of... Uh, and, and why don't we step back? Why don't you explain to me and show me uh, what we have here? I believe one of these garments yeah. is yours. This stole, this white stole, is actually in the category of a hand-knitted accessory made out of a minimum of 30% mohair. And um, it's probably 80% mohair in that. And then um, and I want a blue ribbon. Um, and then I also have a tablecloth in here that also won a blue ribbon. So that won a blue ribbon? Yes. And, and what, how long does it take you to do something like that? I usually make one tablecloth a year and I make, uh, I don't know, a couple weeks, maybe a month. You know. Wow, so there's a lot, a lot of work. Yeah, it's like evening work, you know, like when you're watching TV, that kind of stuff. Well, that, that is really interesting to me when you think about the fact that it's kind of like you don't go out and you don't buy a product and then go home and do what you did here. You actually, you you get you get the product right from the animal and you... Yeah, it's, it's neat. It's fun. It's because I know their names. Like there were four goats that contributed their fiber to that wool. And we, we name our yarns after our goats, you know, when we sell it. So now what what happens what happens to that when you uh, when you leave the farm show? Um, I'll take it to some of the fiber shows I go to, and if somebody buys it, they buy it. Most of it I'll sell if I can. I hope this isn't a bad question to ask, but what will something like that go for? Oh, between three and four hundred dollars, probably. Wow, that is wonderful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. I'm going to turn over here, and we're going to talk to this lady. Can we have your name again? Joan Demko. So Joan, what brings you to the farm show? Well, I've come with my girlfriends. Um, Kathy is the one who inspired me. She's my mentor and my teacher. 
Um, I really only knew how to knit in pearl until I met her a few years ago, and she's been awesome. So my first, this is my second sweater and my first entry into the farm show ever, and I was like elated to win a blue ribbon, and then best of show was just beyond my wildest dreams. So. I owe it all to my buddy. <laughs> oh, that's a great story. So let me ask you this: uh, How long, it's a, it's a it's a sweater? It's a, yes. it's a button-down sweater. It's a cardigan sweater, button-down sweater. Yes. And and uh, something like that. I she was mentioning how long it took her to to do this. What about a full sweater? What what kind of time? Uh, well, I worked on it on and off, but it took months and months and months. <laughs> yeah, it's a long process. So you you are actually doing this though for how many years? Knitting? Yeah. Oh, I only knew how to knit and purl two basic stitches since I was a little girl, but that was it. And I learned all the cables, and once I got started with Kathy, yeah. Kathy must be a heck of a teacher. Oh, she's an awesome person. Just I mean, I mean, so you're doing this for just a few years, and you've already produced this garment, which, which you, you got a blue ribbon here at the farm show? It's amazing, but I'll tell you, she really gave me the confidence when she said, you can do anything. Put your mind down to it, and you can do it. And she's right. Well, let's talk about that. Marianne, you're the one. I Come over here, Marianne. Come over here. Listen, we, we have to talk to Marianne, so let's talk about the food. The food here, delicious. It is delicious, isn't it? I mean, it's Especially just, all the free samples. It, 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 it is a special place. I enjoy coming down here uh, every year and, and doing this. Uh, I, usually, I usually cheat a little bit with the food because it is so good. Exactly. So I want to thank all of you ladies. I, I thank you for uh, spending time with me. And you enjoy the rest of the farm show. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thanks.